Hey guys, welcome back. As promised, it's time to have a look at this pair. And we're going to put the elastics in them. And we're going to finish them off. So, looking at the bags that we've got left over here, to build these today, we're going to use bag number nine, which is different from this bag number nine, because this is actually bag number six. So, bag number nine. What have we got? Let's take a look. We've got a piece of one inch black elastic with a snap stitch to it. Times two. Then we've got two more pieces of one inch black, approximately this long. And then we've got two other pieces, a little bit shorter. Okay, <clears throat> so weirdly, when you take these out of the bag, they come with another one already snapped to it. So I'm just going to remove that. So here we go. So what we want to do is we want to attach this elastic to the inside of the shoulder bell. Basically, I'll do it on the outside again so it makes perfect sense. We're going to put it in like this which is what she said. And um, we've got this much overhang, and this is gonna to attach to our elastic coming over the shoulders on the torso. So we need it sticking out about that far, which is again what she said. Okay, that's gonna work fine for what we're doing today. So you can see approximately how far you need to glue. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick some glue in there I'm not going to go too far because I don't want the excessive glue all over the place and all over my hands and then no doubt on my face and all over my clothes. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue in there and if I need to go back and add a little bit more in, that's makes common, it's perfect sense. It, that is perfect sense. I'm using my common sense. Okay. Let's just get down to it. I mean, this, these are literally minutes. These jobs are literally minutes. Bit of glue in there like that. Then we want this. What not to do is put it in too far and pull it out because then you're going to get glue potentially on bits you don't want it on. So go, make sure you get it lined up about where you want it. There's good. Slide it into position. I think there's going to be a lot of that's what she said jokes today because she also said that. Right, if your glue's not going off fast enough, you can use some of the activator, which goes straight through the elastic, and then it goes off. Okay, so I've got about an inch there that's not glued down. So just to tidy it up, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, glue on the elastic. Like so. Fold it down, get it into there. There we go. <clears throat> Again, with all these elastics, if you work on the assumption that the elastic is holding it where it needs to be. The elastic's movement, it, the give, is for your movement, and it should be returning back to a, the elastic, not under any tension, and being the correct length. You don't want to stretch this into position, and that goes with all the elastics in this. As a, a, At rest, the elastic should just hold everything where it should be, and the, the spring in the elastic is for your movement. That's what we're aiming for. So we've got the top, so this is going to hold in place, but it's just going to flap around on the arm, so we need to address that. So I'm going to take the longer of the other pieces of elastic, let me get rid of two of them because we don't need 
to confuse ourselves. So the long, the longer piece of elastic, I could give you a measurement, but it doesn't really matter. And we're going to stick this, <coughs> the longer piece, and we're going to stick this on the inside at the bottom here. I'm going to put approximately, I don't know, two inches. I'm just eyeballing it. Two inches looks good to me. That's what she said. <clears throat> Little tip when you've finished applying your glue, the super glue, especially if it's like this quite thick stuff, that's what she said, then pull it away on the inside sometimes you get a static build up and if you've got a little run of it as it like like a string of it like a pizza it can pull it down onto areas or surfaces that you don't want the glue to be on so a little tip for you there that's what she said create your own scenario for when she said it I'm holding this up to the edge here because I don't particularly want it to pull away. See like that? That's what I don't want. Just looks untidy. So that's had enough time to go off. It's not wanting to stick so I'm going to add a little bit more glue. Just a tiny bit. Less is more. That's what I said. But you don't want to overdo it when you're adding the glue to this to tidy it up. So I'm just holding it in position, making sure it's gone off. Right up to the edge. Now in the original suit, they've used a different type of glue that's really melted into the, the surface of the um, plastic and distorted it. Now we've got some of that distortion retained in, in the shapes here that you can see. So you can see how it bends in, curls in. So you don't really want to over egg that and use that same glue. That's why the super glue works really well for this application. So we've got all of this elastic. So if we stick the same amount in there, we've got, we've got, it's quite slack. That's what I said. But we don't want that, we want it more like this. So it's just coming straight across and it's quite, you know, it's tall. It's not, it's not pulling this in, but it's also not too baggy. That's what she said. Yeah, and that was just her opinion, because it turns out it was too baggy. Okay, I put a little mark in there just to get to the end. You don't need to do that, as you know. Just use a bit of common and reading between the lines and looking what's been going on. So we want this to just be a nice, tight there. So I've got it in place. And I'm thinking I could go a bit tighter, so I'm just sliding it down. Always do it that way rather than coming out because you don't want to smear glue where you don't want it. Nobody ever wanted anything smeared where it wasn't wanted. Am I right, Andrew? Yeah, that's what she said. So this piece is under a little more tension because we're trying to keep it taut so it's wanted to pull away so I'm going to counter that with a little bit more glue and concentrate on that area now oh shot myself Okay, if you've got any little straggly bits like this that don't look the greatest, you can deal with them. Again, a little bit more glue. 
I'll do both sides while I'm at it. Just a little spot of glue there. Now, you can use your finger or you can use a little bit of rag or something that you've got hanging around. I'm looking for something, can't find anything. Oh, here's a bag. Just rub it on the edge of the, of the elastic just to stop that fraying. It can go in the bin. Oh, in fact, I'll keep it for the next one just in case. And that's what our shoulder bell looks like. That is one pretty much complete elasticated up shoulder bell. <clears throat> so as you can see, the actual components fitting these pieces together is, is pretty simple. Now, on the original costume, the shoulder bell and the bicep and the forearm were separate pieces. But I think they started to work out that if it was all one piece, it would be much nicer and easier to work with. So there's a couple of ways we can do that. One of the ways we can do that is to use the shorter piece of black elastic that was in your pack and we can put it between these two pieces here. Now one issue you might have with that is if you've got really broad shoulders, that this is gonna be pulled out by the, sho uh, by the shoulder bell. It's not, gonna, it's not gonna have enough movement. So we tended to stop doing that. But if you wanted to do that, simply what you would do is glue your elastic between the two pieces. Um, another method, and it's the one I usually use, yeah. is, as if by magic, the uh, white tank tape appears. If you know why it's called tank tape, please do share below. Now, I don't think you're epically cool. Not you, cat food, Rob. I mean, cat food is epically cool anyway. He doesn't need to be. Commenting on this. Now this method is not for the sort of people who want to spend hours buffing their armor. But I'm not one of those people. I don't, I don't like to do that. What I've done there is looped, looped the gaffer tape over the over the elastic. <coughs> That's holding it together. So this is my preferred method. If you wanted to do the clean way you would just put the elastic in between these, but do, do be careful. You may need to trial and error this if you've got big shoulders, um, because it does, does tend to pull the shoulder belt away, put this under too much pressure and kind of spoil the whole lines of, of your costume. So there we go, We're, this is all built up when the when the torso is ready to accept it, we can pin that in and we've got the whole complete arm ready to go. Now all I've got to do is repeat this on the right shoulder bell. Um, if anyone is interested, we tend to use the sweeping detail on the shoulder bell rather than the straight detail on the left. But this can be different across suits as, as standard, that's what we would do. If you're building a specific suit, you may want to check that out, swap them round, or you may need to contact us to get two of the same if it's a very particular suit you're building. If not, as standard, this is what I would do, this is what I'd recommend, this is how they work. Okay, I'll do the next one. <laughs> There we go, arms built.
I think next time we're going to do the torso so that we can attach these to our torso and we can appreciate how cool it looked with the arms already on it. So until next time, you've been watching more How to Build a Stormtrooper. There you go, simple as that. This is how we build stuff. So if you need a kit, you can get on the website. If, however, you've seen this and you think, this is not for me and I don't have the time, don't worry. We also have fully built commissions and fully built stuff. All, again, all on the website. Just click through, choose your character. It's all there for you. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.